day begins earlier than most. You got so many rats in that mine. Mine's no no girlfriend I have. And instead of bringing their tools, they have to catch them. You got him? You got him, don't I can get you. Oh, he just, he didn't want to go this morning. He wanted a day off. But springtime in the Osage means no time to spare for days off. Well, first week's not bad. Second week is a little tougher. From there on out, they don't get no easier. Probably looks easy to anyone who's never had to do it. All right, we love to go to pins at a high rate of speed here in minutes, lad. But these cowboys will work from dawn to dusk, moving a thousand head of ornery steers <laughs> from pasture to pen. I take cup boys and sword. You want to take cup boys and do that other stuff? <laughs> and back. Right now, we're preconditioning our steers. We get them in and sort them and retag. Fly tag them, get them, plant them. Warm them and then spray them. And then we put them back out. Cows are real tricky. I heard old timers say one time, it's amazing how many, how many smart cowboys one dumb cow can outsmart. Sometimes they try patience a little bit. First time I say great leaf rod, I don't it for 30 years. Better go and get a big dip of snuff and sit on the tree a minute. He's all right, huh, Bobby? It's sweet. Yeah. I'll be a little chilly for him right on back this morning going to lunch. <laughs> well, well, don't tell me they aren't here. I thought they were mean. I, we don't carry much weight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> probably. It's one of the few breaks they get. <laughs> that might be one of the bad things about it. Everybody talks to <laughs> But for these cowboys, the horsing around is nonstop. You can always tell when that fellow ain't telling you the truth. If his lips is moving, he's lying. <laughs> Man, you cold. Yeah, uh, that, that's cold now. Good thing he's a plastic, that's all I can say. They live a life most folks can only dream about. A sort of romance on the range. I was pretty fortunate uh, growing up here in the Osage because I've been around a lot of places, and there's nothing like it, and there's probably not any better cowboys. A place where each day ends with the promise of a new beginning. In Osage County, I'm Randy Ritter, Newsline 9, Late Edition. There is a freedom out here that money can't buy. I give up a $10 an hour job to come out here and do this for a thousand a month. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Boy, I mean, it's a beautiful day, ain't it? Days like this make it all worthwhile. Well, things like Todd <laughs> Yeah. The Osage is Oklahoma's last best place. <laughs> there is a big wide world out there and most of us are pretty much aware of it. How are you doing it, Rod? And uh, you'd be surprised at the number of cowboys that's been to college and got degrees and they've come back to just to be back outside. A good cowboy is, is hard, hard, hard to come back. John Hurd didn't have to come back to the ranch. He never left it. He grew up and is beginning to grow old, 
on the land he loves. I never thought I'd live long enough to, to be pretty near one of the old men on the outfit, but damn, it's gotta, one day you're 20 and the next day you're 40 and the next day you're a little older than that. <laughs> And the hair starts gray, turning gray, and the teeth still falling out. And then they got, start calling you dad. Let me brag on you. Let me be the first to tell you about this wonderful job. Hey, hey, hey. John may be a father figure to most of the cowboys, but he's more than that to one of them. I don't think of him as my dad a lot of times because he's more of a friend, you know. We go go places and do things, and I'm always with him. We got kind of a, more of a friendship type thing than a father-son, because that's just always the way. It didn't take a lick and keep ticking, did it? You know, he's just a kid, but he's a man, too. And it's, 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 it's unique, because uh, you really find out just what he's got in him when you get out there. But in many ways, being different is what being a cowboy is all about. It's not everybody that can be a cowboy. You've got to have it in you. You've got to have the want to and, and the drive to do it. We're really the last of the dying breed. There's not that many cowboys anymore. And that's why the Osage, Oklahoma's last best place, can be a lonely place. Too. On the Drummond Branch, I'm Randy Renner, Newsline 9, Late Edition. <laughs> We've been after it since July 3rd, and today will be the final day. So it took us right at 60 days to get them together. This time of year, it's a really busy time of year for us. Uh, we're receiving new cattle and, and shipping out the, the old cattle. And so the cowboys are they're tired and, and uh, they've really done a good job. But they're, they're getting up from anywhere at 4 o'clock in the morning and, and we're going to 9, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, we've moved about 22 to 4,000 steers since we've started. That's kind of a neat sight, but at the same time, you think, golly, that's going to be a long day putting all them cattle in them trucks. We fed them and nursed them and took care of them in the hot and the cold and cussed them and cried at them, and, and now they're gone, and, and it's payday today. That's what it's all about. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. 15050. Well, you know, you're you're able to weigh these steers. They they're able to see that the fruit of their efforts. This is hard work. And I never thought so before, but uh, people really can't imagine keeping those kind of hours. Ah, 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 hey. ah, ah, ah. We had to do 12 months out of year, and, you know, I don't think anybody can keep that pace. You can push yourself to, to get through these 60 days. Today is final day. We're messing with these big suckers. We're all ready to get rid of them. I'm kind of relieved we're done, but when everything finally gets finished, you just got to start all over again. Start with new cattle, start receiving again, start Everything will go back to the same cycle just as it was last year. Well, I see that last truck rolling down the road. It's kind of didn't bother me too much. I was kind of glad to see him go, and I'm ready to start on a new bunch. These cattle is getting old. Get to know them, man. I'm ready to get some new ones in, look some new faces.